Hi everyone, welcome back to the only Shade Drops channel. Today I am going to react to the Pabandom is now your semi no, not semi-final two. Hit two. The qualifiers I'm pretty hyped about it. I quite enjoyed the first hit. My favorite there was uh Gabrielis Va Vagelis. Um I sadly spoiled myself the results a little bit so yeah, I kind of know who are the front runners and all, but yeah, it never changes my opinion of the songs anyway. So I will do the song in their ranking order from the tenth to the first. Song number one's name is okay. Hold on a minute because it's pretty long. Antikvarinyai Kasperovskio Dantis. And their song is yeah, that was the name of the band and their song is called Sedi Ir Vajioji. Whoa I, pro I probably just destroyed the name so if you know the pronunciation just tell me in comments. Let's discover this one. It came tenth in the hit. Pretty hard, let's check it. What? Wait, uh, wait, what? What the hell is that? <laughs> what? Uh, I, uh, I love this. <laughs> this is iconic. This is iconic. I love this. I love this. This I totally get what it was like only borderline qualifier because it's very polarizing. It's this kind of either love or hate song. Either you love it or you hate it. And I'm in the first category. <laughs> well this is very memorable. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really like this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, this... <laughs> I know, this is never winning the national final or something, but it's just so funny. Oh, I loved it. It's a, just a funny song. Clearly not for um, the competition and all. But yeah... This this was good. This I really liked. Good job. Now oh, let's move on to the song that ended up ninth in the hit. So next song is Dreamer by Donata. Oh, it got written by uh, the Person Sisters in Divine Linda. Interesting. Oh, this. This is actually good. This is well performed, well staged. The song has a nice melody. This is good. This is very cute. It's not competitive enough, but I think it's a cute song. She's a good performer, she has great vocals. This was cute. I get why it ended up nice, because. Yeah, look. This is a song, no one will strongly dislike this. But no one will really strongly like it. I mean, it's a nice song, I like the melody, she performs it very well, she's really a great singer, that deserves a more impactful song. The staging was well done, but the song just doesn't hit enough. It's just the kind of song where you're like, yeah, I like this, but I probably won't vote for it. And it's the situation in which I am. But pretty good song, I think. That's nice. Let's move on to the next one. Next one is So Your Ghost by Gebrasi. And you know, Gebrasi was my favorite of the last two pin. So I'm really curious how on earth did he end up only 8th? I'm 
I'm quite scared because I usually really love his songs. Let's check it out. Quite good vocals so far, but I'm not sure about this song. Yeah, this is nice. This is very nice. But I'm very disappointed since I expected way more from him. Yeah, this probably is his weakest of phase of his last attempt. Where do you wanna go and into your arms were way better than this. But this is this is quite good actually. But yeah, just coming from Gebrazi I expect more. Yeah, this is good. But yeah, I expect way more from him. I expect this song of the same quality than Into Your Arms or Where You Wanna Go. And we don't have this right now. This is some nice, good song. But I get why it ended at 8. I feel like the song doesn't fit him. He's a very good vocalist and old great ballad singer. This kind of song was unexpected from him. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, I like it. But I expect more from him. Okay, so... I expect way more from Gevrazi. But then, yeah, I say this, but this is probably going to be in my top 10 of this national final. Probably even top 8, because it's an actual good song. Just from him, since he was my number one of last two editions, I expected clearly more. But yeah, it happens. I can get now what it why it ended up eighth. Let's move on to the next song. Song number four is "Rumor" by Moon B. I don't really like this one. It feels like some bland. Pop song also the staging I I don't get the staging why they stage it like that yeah this that does nothing to me I like her voice but uh, just bad. it's not bad but it just bland Especially the chorus, the verses are nice, but the chorus is just not good. And why the hell did they stage it like that? Yeah, it's not bad, but it's just there. Yeah, this... The verses were nice, but the chorus is just so bland and the song overall just goes nowhere. She's a good singer, though. Yeah, I didn't really like this, so... Let's move on to the next song, song who finished no, no way, song who finished six in the hit. Next song is New Start by Anye. Very interesting. Oh, great vocals. Oh, this is epic. Okay, I really like this. I hope the chorus will be great. She has an amazing voice. Okay, this is just very good stuff. The song is great. There is some originality. Amazing vocals. Yeah. I saw that the juries ranked this almost last. And it ended up second in televote. This time I really side with the televote. This is really great. I think the staging can be better, like she's a bit too alone on the stage. But it's still fine. Yeah, this is just very good stuff. That was very good. I don't get why the juries didn't like it. Like, it just has amazing vocals. Great melody, staging, staging is decent, but I feel like they can do better. Yeah, this is just very good stuff, and I really, I'm really happy that the televote pushed it through. So, yeah, that was very good. I think so far it's the best one of this hit. Let's move on to the next song now. 
Next song is Love of My Life by Petunia. Okay, this is gorgeous. Okay, this is very, very good. I, I feel like she could be a bit better vocally, but this the song is gorgeous. This is very, this is beautiful. It's amazingly staged. The melody is gorgeous. This is the best one so far, you see. And I feel like she can be better vocally. This was very good. My only problem is that she didn't sing it that well live. I feel feel like she was off sometimes. I yeah, the melody is gorgeous. Honestly, based on the melody, it would probably be my favorite, second favorite of this spin. But this performance, yeah, that's some wasted potential. But I think she can recover. There's still the semi-final and the final to go. And if she fixes her vocals, she can be a contender for the win. But like, yeah, just for example, give this song to like Yeva Zazimoskaite, she will turn it into an absolute masterpiece. That, yeah, vocally wasn't that good, but still gorgeous song. I really really like it, best one of the hits so far and there's the good thing is that there is still room for improvement and if she improves on her vocals this can do very well so yeah let's move on to the next song the next song is Midnight Train by Matt Lang oh this starts very well his singing style is very interesting Okay. Uh, his singing style is really strange but also interesting. This is haunting. Oh. Oh. I didn't expect that at all. That his voice would go so deep right now out of sudden. Oh. Switch is that is I feel though that he lacks a bit of power in his voice. This is very very good. It's special, it's haunting. His voice is interesting, even if I feel it lacks a bit of power. And his singing style is also very interesting. This was very interesting. First, his singing style, I didn't expect that. And also the change to that very soft, soft voice to a very deep one. The song is very interesting. I just feel like he's very very nervous and his singing lacks power but overall the song is very good and just like the precedent one there is room for improvement and yeah this is just good stuff I'm very surprised let's go to the next song the song that came third in the second hit is Do What You Do by Mario Jones has discovered it. Oh, I like his voice. This is okay. It's not exceptional. It's not bad. It's okay. He has a nice voice. I like the verses more than the chorus. I think this is okay. That the staging could be much better. It's way too alone there. And yeah, the colors, I don't know. He sings this very well though. Oh, the little guitarist. He's a very good singer. He deserves a better song. This was a okay, it had some interesting elements. But this dude just deserves a better song because he's quite a good singer. And yeah, I feel it's a bit of a missed opportunity there, but it's still a nice song. I think there are only two songs left now, the top two of the hit. Let's check them out. Oh, number two is Monika Linkite. She's from Eurovision 2015. Yes, I remember that entry. I quite like it. It is a duet with that dude. And the name of the song is Stay. I'm quite hyped about it. This is quite nice so far. Okay, this is amazing. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. 
are so good. Yeah, okay, the chorus is just gorgeous. This is very, very good. It, it, this hit, I feel, is better than the precedent one. I feel like this can do actually quite nicely in Eurovision. It can qualify for the final. It would be a nice choice from Lithuania. Oh, Lithuania in the end. This was gorgeous, amazing chorus, great verse it and all. A, a memorable song, really, it has a memorable chorus. And yeah, I don't really have words, the vocals were so powerful. I'm, I was just wondering what ranking in my pin, what place it has in my pin ranking. I, I think I like. Gabrielis Vangelis for from hit one a bit more but then this is probably my second of this national final I will do some ranking later and yeah you'll discover mostly my grand final ranking where we will know all the songs that qualify for the grand final that one you will know and now let's move on to the last song the one who won the hit oh it better be good the song is like a movie by Beatrice or Beatrich? Don't know. Let's check it. Oh, we're going rock and roll there. This is cute. This is a cute song. Uh, I'm <laughs> a bit triggered by her movement on the scene. I know because sometimes it just goes like that and it looks like she's drunk or something. She did quite well and the song is cute. Okay, I, I don't know how it won the hit actually, but it's a nice song, I'm enjoying it. Okay, so I thought it was quite nice. Mm, it gives, gives good vibes and nice staging, she sings it quite well. But now I wonder. Apparently, she's the front runner with Rutamur. These are the two big favorites to win the Lithuanian national final, except if there is a little surprise, which I think can happen. But like between this and Rutamur, I'm well, I'm taking this one. But I don't know if if, they, if Lithuania chooses one of these, if they will qualify for the Eurovision Grand Final. So yeah, I yeah, Lithuania is in quite dark territory right now. I don't know if there is a song that gives me show qualifier vibes in this national final. But yeah, if I have to make a ranking, like right now, my top 5 Gabrielis Vagelis, Monica Link, I'm talking about uh, all the qualifiers, the 20 people who will go to the semi finals. First semi final is next week. So. Yeah, Gabriel Vangelis, Monica Linkite, and then there are, th I don't know in which order, but Il Senso, Matalan, and Petunia. These are my top five of this Papa and Domi scenario. If you like, so uh, that's it. If you like this video, don't forget to put a little like, subscribe, and join our Discord channel. The link is in the description below. See you there. Bye bye.